Hi, I'm L.E. Carmichael, Canadian scientist and the author of 22 STEM books for kids, including The Boreal Forest, a year in the world's largest land biome, which is illustrated by José Biseon and published by Kids Can Press. The Boreal Forest is also one of 10 books that has been nominated for the Yellow Cedar Award in the 2021 Forest of Reading. Woohoo! <laughs> Now, the other books in the Yellow Cedar category looked so interesting that even though I can't vote, I just couldn't resist reading all of them. So in this series of videos, I am going to tell you about one of these great books and some of the reasons why I think it's awesome. Today's Yellow Cedar book is Under Pressure, The Science of Stress by Tanya Lloyd Kai, illustrated by Marie Eve Tremblay. Right now is probably an excellent time for all of us to be reading this book. I don't know about you, but I have been finding the world kind of a stressful place lately. Under Pressure helped me understand how our stress responses, which have evolved uh, to help protect us from danger, have almost become maladaptive or bad adaptations um, in the modern world. But not always. That was one of the things that I liked about this book is that it talks about the times and the situations where stress can be helpful or productive, as well as those situations where stress can be unhealthy for us. I love the way that the author used really interesting examples, everything from SARS to space, to explain the science of stress and the clear and lively language that made that science easier to understand. And I also think that it's really great that this book talks about the things that we know about stress and the things that we don't quite understand yet. Um, for example, some of the differences between the way stress affects men and women and how we might not know those things because of the way scientific research has been done in the past, primarily on men. Two of the other things that made this book really great for me um, are the illustrations, which are really bright and fun and add a touch of humor to what is otherwise a pretty serious topic. Um, and second, the practical tips for managing stress in everyday life, which I'm pretty sure I'm going to start doing more of almost every day. Thanks so much for tuning in today and for participating in the Forest of Reading. I hope you're having a fantastic time reading and discussing and most especially voting for your favorite books. We'll see you next time.